Scrap adventures again. We got a refrigerator, washing machine, bunch of motors, big exhaust fan motor, bunch of them. And a little stairs bucket. All of that stuff. A couple of regular motors too. Car battery up there. Another compressor. Running around scrapping the metal. We got a refrigerator. Old washer. There's some stupid heavy and it's a small one. Microwave. Bunch of uh, motors, a compressor. I cut one up earlier. A little bit of aluminum and wires and stuff. And we are going to try to put this other fridge on top of all this and then strap it down. Let's see if there's still a compressor on the back. I think there is. Because the cord's still there. Yeah, the compressor's still in there. That would be all they took. It's still in there, okay. And all refrigerators. Have a little bit of copper in the back. You cut all this out. These compressors have oil in them. You have to drain them before you take them to a scrap yard. You will get in trouble or whatever. They took the doors off. These are made out of aluminum, a little bit of wires, a little bit of copper runs down inside. They're a BIT to get out of there though. And I always leave the glass. Well, I try to anyway. These are uh, heavy, but I don't want broken glass falling in the truck, you know? The scrapyard dudes usually won't even say nothing. What up? Why am I not doing that actually? Throw these in here. So I'm gonna pull this wire out of here and this aluminum and copper and then come around the back. Take out the compressor and that. Okay, I cut off just about all the copper I could. And uh, usually there's little pins out of pins you pull out of here little corners and then this whole thing will pop right out but uh we got these bolts holding it in there and they take forever to get the back ones out if you don't have like a ratcheting wrench so i'm gonna have to get one of them half inch ratcheting wrenches even an adjustable if they haven't so i got six thousand tools out get whatever i can okay Finally got that out of there. It took forever. This guy's heavy. I drained off the oil in a coffee can. And only two I have because I cut one up, shredded the other one, it took forever, but harvest the copper out of it. Mine the copper out of it. All this extra stuff is how you make your money. Just steal weight. I mean, yes, you'll get money, but you get more each time by separating everything. Now this guy is empty. I'm gonna go ahead and toss it up in there. Strap it down if I have to.
still scrapping. Not some more. Big dumpsters in the apartment. There's an old big screen back there, but I'm not messing with it. I got too much stuff. This is the fridge from earlier. I went and picked up a garage door opener from a lady. A giant murder on here. I need to see if I can cut it and get it off. But uh, big old murder on there. I gotta cut that post to get the whole murder off for murder weight. I got more compressors. Here's a, uh, another refrigerator. Small freezer actually with another compressor on it. And this was a water cooler that I just took apart and threw in there. But the older water coolers, the container that holds the water that heats it and chills it, is wrapped in a bunch of copper. So you take your time and pry that off of there. I cut it with a sawzall, a hacksaw, and uh, get this big chunk of copper off of there. Copper weight, copper weight, copper weight. And see the tarnish, but uh, all this adds up once you start building your whole bucket full. Got pounds of it today, so that's a pretty good payout. Bunch of wire, aluminum, some more aluminum in there. We'll see when we get there and all these motors. Drain the compressors, they're full of oil. Bridge is hollow so you can throw stuff in there. Woo! Full low. Just got that little freezer. Put it up on the tailgate. Lifted it up by myself. Got one corner on here. And then lifted hard as hell and flipped it up over there. We getting pretty full now. Ah. Okay, we got it closed. We got it full. Threw a little bit more stuff. Oh, that's a full load right there. Take it down there and see what we get. Three scrap warrior. Scrap gun. Making our way to the scrap yard right now. We'll take this full load. First, I got a lot of steel to throw out. And then I'm gonna have to take the precious metal, the non-ferrous over there and get looked at. I've ran through this before down in Dundalk Al Metals, Baltimore County. Al Metal Corporation. Patience, we'll see what we get. We're going to get weighed. See if I can record it. Man, I need a big giant trailer very soon. Very soon. Yeah. Here we go. You gotta watch backing up to these piles. Cause there's a million screws and nails, pieces of steel and stuff. Mess your tires up. We're getting weighed again. Eight hundred and some pounds. Fifty-five forty. Oh, 
after the second time getting weighed, you run in this building, and he gives you your little ticket. You go get a sign. Radio's fixed. Come in here. Thank you, sir. 840 pounds. Okay. It's nine cents a pound now they changed it. It was 10 and uh, some other ones are way lower than that. One of them right by where I live is four cents a pound. That sucks. Do what you can though, right? Go get my ticket signed and then take all the nine fares. Take a look and see what we got. Yeah, get busy. All right, we got our ticket signed. They scrap cardboard in there too. I've just never done it before. 840 times 0.9. Not fair section going to right now. All these guys are pretty cool usually. Let's see what we got. We're waiting in line now. $75.60. Plus to add up all the non fares. Should be around 100. 100 or better. Twenty dollars took me a few hours to get it. Money's money. On to the next one. <laughs> 